Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks so much for joining me today as I play with MFT's Cottontail Cutie to make another sign for my students. And this time another alcohol ink background that I had a lot of fun with. So first of all, putting together the little bunny is very simple. The little pieces have these little lines as you can see on his face there where you know his little muzzle will go and so on and that all helps you line everything up nicely. You've just got to decide on your colours really and I've chosen craft for uh, the body of the bunny with white tummy and details and a couple of little pink accents for the insides of his ears and so on. So he's a sweet little fellow. I did um, do feet that were like, well they are the inner portion of the ears that you see there in pink. I use those same uh, long pieces for feet rather than the two that you see above his head there. Uh, those little ones were, are supposed to be the feet and I just preferred the longer, the look of the longer feet so um, why not mix it up, use what works for you. Just scratching off a few little um, bits of die cut that haven't quite cut away there, adding a little bit of pink detail to his nose as well and a little bit of liquid adhesive just to get the feet in position. And then it's time to grab out my Upo paper and start creating my alcohol ink background. So I'm running out of the alcohol blending solution so today I decided I'd use the Isocol product first um, to see if I could get the same sort of blending as you do with alcohol ink. Um, you don't and I didn't, but I did try. I did have the fan on trying to um, ventilate my room a bit because I learnt my lesson last time I used this stuff. <laughs> um, it certainly doesn't blend like the alcohol blending solution. I'll have to grab some more of that because it is a great product and really moves your inks around on your Upo paper. So just getting my rubber blower here which has been a handy little tool that I picked up at the craft show in Brisbane and much easier than hyperventilating blowing through a straw I can tell you. So moving all my inks around with the blower there and I've listed the colours up above so you'll know what I'm using and I was looking for sort of the green at the bottom for trees and bushes and then a uh, pinky blue sort of sunset um, colours in the sky so that's what I'm um, hoping to achieve today and I was really happy with the way this turned out in the end it um, is very pretty and the little, the little cottontail cutie certainly looks gorgeous sitting on this sweet background so when things aren't moving very well it's time to add some more of the alcohol blending solution obviously the isocol had dried in the time it took me to get to the top of the Upo paper so things weren't moving there very well at all so the blending solution certainly helped that and the colours are sort of blending and mixing and um, I'm getting some nice muted tones there. Now I wasn't too sure about the green at the bottom so um, still an awful lot just lying there on the surface so I decided I was going to blot up um, the majority of that and I did the same at the top but there's not as much colour lying at the top. There certainly was with the green at the bottom. Whether that's something to do with the isocol I don't know but anyway then I still wasn't happy with that. It wasn't a colourful enough um, base for me so I've gone back with some more blending solution adding the citrus over the top getting some more movement in there and it's now starting to um, look like some got some dark edges there which I like it sort of makes it look like bushes a bit of willow combined with the citrus and then going back up to the top adding a bit more alcohol blending solution some more of the shell pink a little bit more of the pool just getting those colors moving a bit more together getting some purple hues in there now as well which is just lovely I'm really enjoying the alcohol inks I find them so much fun to play with and and um, you certainly can't control them I find it's um, a bit of luck of the draw how um, things are going to turn out but it's certainly a lot of fun 
experimenting and, and seeing which way things go. So I've gone back down to the greens at the bottom of the piece, adding some of the alcohol blending solution to get a bit more movement and then I'm going to add, I think um, I start adding in some of the um, pearls here actually. Yes, the colour you can see at the top of my glass mat there is sublime in the alcohol pearls range. So it's quite a vibrant green and it's got a bit of a glisten and sparkle to it. And of course when I added it there was not much movement there so I'm not happy with that. I've got, got to go back with my blending solution, get it moving a little bit more than that. And then I do quite um, like the end result here so I'm quite happy to leave that then to dry and um, move on to the rest of my embellishing. So I decided that my little bunny needed a speech bubble so I've cut one of those out adding a sentiment to it from a very old stamp set um, but it's a lovely little message if you can be anything be kind and just adding my tape runner to the back of the Hero Arts wood frame piece and that nicely frames my sign and then it's a matter of uh, die cutting some little flowers as you see uh, I'll add the set that they've come from it's one of the um, MFT I think it's the Fox set cut the flowers from just to add some pops of color around the bunny adding some enamel or pearls as they are called from Kaiser Craft which I've had for many many years and, and love them still thinking of a visual triangle here as I add those two at the bottom and then one onto the flower for the, that's um, up on the bunny's ear and just adding some of the little uh, die cut pieces from the center of that die you can see there the little flower adding those to the two blue flowers a nice big pearl for the bunny's flower and foam tape on the back of everything and my sign is complete Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like what you see on my videos, please visit my blog where I've got a lot of other signs and cards uh, for you to view. Sometimes there's not enough time to make videos for all of them, but there's certainly lots to see on my blog. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon.